The foolishness inside the heart of your child is in fact much more dangerous to him or her than the temptations outside of them. Two things that are, are real important to remember. One, it's, it's only ever the foolishness inside of your child that hooks them to the foolishness in the world outside of them. So I don't rescue the child just by protecting him from the outside world. I have to help this child to see the foolishness that's inside his heart. But there's another thing. How does the Bible talk about foolishness? Well, the Psalms ultimately says that the most important aspect of foolishness is a denial of God. When the Psalms talks about that, it's, it's not talking about philosophical atheism. It's talking about people who live as if they don't need God, don't need His wisdom, don't need His power, don't need His presence, don't need His grace. And you see, when I tell myself that I don't need God, when God is not in the center of my worldview, guess who I put there? I insert myself in the center. I make it all about me, my wants, my feelings, my plans. And that's never a pathway to a life of peace and joy and satisfaction and hope, never. What do fools need? They need rescue. And only God's grace has the power of rescuing fools because fools need to be rescued from themselves. I can run from a situation, I can run from a location, I can run from a circumstance, but I can't run from me. That's true of your children as well. Look at your children, understand they're fools, and commit yourself to be a tool of God's rescue.